No, sí, come here, boy. I'm Greg Ovens. I'm Amos Rodriguez. And this is the 30-day survival challenge, Vancouver Island. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you're going to have to catch and cook it first. Uh, cheers. cheers, man. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for the series playlist so you can start on episode one. And when this episode's over, check out that playlist again and you can watch Greg's side of the adventure. Not much sunshine, but beautiful outing for the kayaks. You might get a couple of hours of sunshine a day. And right now we're just exploring. But look at these rocks. Awesome. Come here, Finn. Come here, boy. Good boy. Come here. Big bear, dude. The big bear was coming this way. Hey. No, Finn, come here, boy. Here, boy. Be careful. Be careful with that guy. A lot of bears around, eh? Lots of bears around. Well, we found this really cool spot. There was a black bear, a little bay. It's just a little exit, as you can see, to the, to the ocean, but we won't have as much sun as we would like. We would like more fresh water. So this is, we're gonna keep it in mind, keep scouting and looking for uh, this other spot we think we might, it might work for us. So let's go explore a little more. Let's go scouting. Found this one spot, pretty decent. It's got an entrance to the ocean. It's got an island. I can't see it. Now it gets steep over there. Careful, Finn. Careful, boy. Don't fall down there. We've been looking, but I think we found a spot that will work for us. We just gotta get all the gear in i still have to go and get my backpack for my uh survival gear camping gear whatever uh, but yeah we feel okay about this spot it's not supposed to rain for a bit so yeah we're gonna try it for a couple of days and see how it goes. I think we'll be doing good here. It's a beautiful spot. So I think you guys are going to like it. I know all you see is rocks right now, but it's really beautiful. Really, just wait for it. It opens up to the bay and I think it's gonna be awesome for what we're trying to do. Stay out of the view and fish 
and hunt birds and make fires now that the fire ban is over. Looks super beautiful right now. And it's really beautiful, man. It's awesome. It's really nice. But it's time to unload. Yeah, I might tie to that one and Greg can tie to that one. Over here seems pretty good, man. We've been scouting for a while. The day is getting shorter now. So we only have so much light. We gotta get the kayaks. Yeah, this is to uh, change the scenery and come with a really nice fishing spot. I think this is gonna work. This will provide a lot of food for us. Okay, good morning. This is... Uh, this was my bedding last night. We had some bears coming and there is some fish over there I wanna catch. To wake up, I should go catch the fish that's hanging out behind the tree. Fish have been feeding there, but I lost my fishing glasses, so it's hard to tell back there. It's taken us a couple of days to come get out of the last place. Then scout and find this place. Still have to go get the kayaks. But we end up here, this is a beautiful place. Okay, we brought some stuff in and now we're finally getting some stuff charged so I got a few batteries in there uh, we're starting to organize the equipment tie this rice in so pretty soon we should go try fishing and uh, yeah slowly setting up camp but it's gonna be a good week over here I can feel it okay we need some food I need to get some something to eat for tonight I'm gonna try But maybe I should fish around the island. So over there, I don't know. I'll find out. You know, there is dinner out there somewhere. Okay, let's check this tiny island. Oh, I should put a double, like I did in the other one. Yeah, I just saw one jump out there. 
between these two islands. So I'm gonna head out there pretty soon. I just wanted to test, change my lures and things. One of the things that you have to keep an eye on when you're kayaking out here is to try not to get lost. <laughs> I know it sounds uh, a bit silly to say, but that's a big survival advice. Keep an eye on the sun. Where is it tracking from? Start to here, going there. Keep an eye on the surroundings. If you see any any features that might help you remember where you came from. But that mountain's got a bald spot on top. There is a big field of grass out there. So I can try to, because I will start going through these little islands. At some point, it can get really confusing, especially out here in these conditions with the ocean like this. So just keep a constant bearing of where you are. In my fishing tackle, I always carry a compass and also a lighter that has a little magnet and a little needle stuck to a little rope in case I don't have the compass I can use that make my own compass if I need to go back that way so I'm going to get ready pack my rods and head that way towards those jumping fish okay goodbye little island till we meet again the okay, water is getting a little deeper I will go a little deeper and then start trolling then catch for a little bit. Come on, fishy, 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 fish. Come on. We're hungry. Oh, there it is, right there. Over there, I just saw it. I'm gonna go over there. It's a lot of jellyfish, but no salmon yet. I'm trying. Okay, just made it back. Uh, I lost dinner, man. I lost my dinner out there. I was being careless. I I thought I had him pretty tired. Then I de-hook him and he just started flopping in the water. It was <clears throat> no good. So now we're getting really hungry. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll uh, gather up some berries, make some tea. Yeah, not feeling good about that one because that was food that we need right now. We've been hauling gear. Those chumps are jumping. There's a big pool of chumps right there. I will eat a chump right now. I don't care. I'm thinking about using a fly line and trying to get fish that way. We'll see. But 
I'm going to change my wet shoes, my wet pants, and put warm clothes. Mosquitoes and no seums are coming now, and I'm all wet, so. Moses has got another one. You want me to come and help? Yeah, so, sorry, I have my flashlight in my eyes, so we have dinner, finally. I've been eating, it's a, it's a chum, but it's something, it's, uh, it's really good, actually. When you're hungry, it tastes pretty good. So, hopefully we have more cojos, I prefer them. <laughs> Super happy to have that before bed. We'll see what's out there tomorrow. Amos Rodriguez Survival and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft are brought to you by Fowler's Maker and Mischief Studios. Check out our shop here. And for the next video in the series, hit the link here. And don't forget to subscribe to Amos's channel and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft here. And thanks for watching the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Vancouver Island.